Liverpool's entry course smashed all records with the first Grand National after a six-year break. By car, train, air and foot, the biggest ever crowd of half a million flowed in. Most of the bookies in England and a couple from Scotland seemed to be there. And with favourite Prince Regent back to win five million or so, more than one gentleman of the turf did a few quick calculations and then started to look worried. 34 of Britain's finest chasers were listed to contest the race. Some ridden by jockeys, others by amateurs anxious to trade thrills against the chance of a broken neck. Inside the ring, it's a last minute look around to size up form and maybe get in a shilling or two in a last minute choice. The weather pulled one out of the bag too, following a stormy night with one of the grandest racing days in the history of the world's most famous steeplechase. Only a few minutes to go before the start and still more people were coming in to join the crush though many of them had a pretty poor chance of seeing much of the race. And now they're ready to go, lining up. They're ready, they're racing, they're off. A clean start for the biggest test racing offers to horse and rider. Thirty-four starters went away, and as they come up to the first jump, it's Jippo over first. And here's the scene, picked up by Pathé's slow-motion camera, in superb action shots. And now here they come up to jump three. Jippo still leading with Prince Regent well up and number 20, Vane Knight, close by. The jumps are bowling them over now, there go two men, but the fields are way ahead now and the big hazards are still out front. At the fourth jump, Jippo, Prince Regent, Lock, Con and Vane Knight are going well. The field clears the brushwood nicely and plenty of backers have still got good hopes. And now, Beecher's Brook. Slow motion shots of the toughest leap of all. And it's tragedy, a symbol. Number two breaks his neck in a death somersault. Jockey Redmond falls safely. And still they come over, taking it as only thoroughbreds can. But Beecher's takes it out of them. From here on, only the fighters are left. Watch it again. Another down. It's number 38, Alacrity. But he's not hurt, and his jockey takes it skillfully to get off with a shaking. It's still Beecher's, and they're still coming, and they're still going down. Now into the canal turn. Another horse and jockey tester. A sharp left swerve as they jump, and a fall means a broadside crash. But they're all over this time, with riderless horses still up among the leaders. Somebody should tell them there's no future in it. And with number 10 jump to take, it's Loch Con, a game little horse from Ireland in the lead, with Vane Knight second and Prince Regent third. It's Loch Con still and Prince Regent is tucked away in seventh place. And the bookies are smiling again, because maybe the Prince isn't going to take that five million after all. it out now and battling it out in front but they're still falling and the slow motion camera picks them up again at the water jump. Lock Con still out in front, Prince Regent up again in second place and Limestone Edward well set at third. This time they're all over but those 34 starters have certainly thinned out more than somewhat. No rider but he's all set to make a splash hit. Starting the second time round and from now on, only the likely winners figure in the picture. Now they're up for the 17th, and what a battering the fence takes as the smart horses follow through the easy way. Lock Khan still going well at the 19th, and now watch him come down. A fall at top speed, and another good-looking placer goes out. 
The pace is getting them now, and there's still that second hurdling of Beaches Brook to be made. The place looks like a battlefield. Here he comes now, coming up to Beaches the second time round. Way out in front, it's Prince Regent number one and Limestone Edward, and it looks as if it's their race. McMoffat fell way back around here and the two leaders fight it out with no challenges. It's a four and a half mile course and Prince Regent's big boned body looks good for a popular favourite win and a Black Friday for the bookies. It's the Prince now and with half a million voices behind him, jockey Tim Hyde looks to be sitting pretty. But watch this for a finish. There's only the last fence to go and it's Prince Regent way in front. Ten lengths ahead is Limestone Edward and there's House Warmer and Suzerain the second tagging on. Yes, the Grand National spirit was out again and the last straight brought a big kick in surprises. Watch the horse in the centre lane. He's coming through and it's lovely cottage and he's taking the paint off Prince Regent and he's going ahead. Behind him there nearest the camera, Jack Finlay follows and the Prince falls back on the rails at third. Prince Regent is tiring and it's lovely cottage with amateur rider Captain Peter out and he's a sure winner with Jack Finlay second and Prince Regent third. What a race. The crowd forgot that five million pounds the bookies were laughing over and gave 25 to one lovely cottage and his jockey the rousing welcome they well and truly earned. For the horse, a kiss from his rider, the end of a grand, grand national.